What is going on you guys, this is Tech HD coming at you with a brand new unboxing video. Now this is an HDMI switch from a company called ZetaGuard. And before we get into the unboxing, I just want to clarify saying why did I get this one unlike others that a lot of YouTubers use, a lot of gaming YouTubers use. It's a company from Kyogro, I think that's the name of the company. But anyway, a lot of YouTubers use it and they trust it 100%. The reason why I got this one is because this one is like future proofing my setup. This is 4K compatible and not only that with other HDMI switches the port to power everything is on the side for some reason. I don't understand why but this one is on the back. Every port is on the back for this one and I personally don't like seeing any cables stick out through the side. I like it all being in the back nice and organized and clean. So. Anyway, this is a 4K compatible HDMI switch, it has 3 HDMI in, 1 HDMI out, has an IR blaster, and it comes with a remote as well, and some really cool features. So without further ado, let's get into the box. So when we look at the packaging, we see a picture of the product, the company ZetaGuard, and a 3 and 1 HDMI switch with PIP, which stands for picture in picture, and that it's 4K compatible. On the back we see a bit of more of the features that it comes with and you see a picture of the remote that it provides with. So when we get everything out of the box we get a USB to 5V power cable, a remote to switch from HDMI devices, a user manual to show all the features it has, a USB wall adapter and the HDMI switch itself. So taking a closer look at the switch it is very compacted and on the back you can see the port for power, a 3 HDMI in ports and one HDMI out port. On the sides there's ventilation and on the front there's a light indicator that shows you that there's power, an IR signal, output to your monitor or TV, input lights to the three devices and a switch button. So after setting everything up you can see that the light indicators on the front and that the power and output light is always going to be on and never change colors. But the three input lights do change colors and when the device is on and displaying the light will be blue. When the device is on but not displaying, then it will be red and when the device is not on, then there will be no light whatsoever. And you can see that I am changing the input with the remote or I can also change it by pressing the switch button that's on the front. And if we step back a little, you can see that I am changing the input to the Xbox One, PS4 and Xbox 360. Also you can see that I am pressing the picture in picture button and what that is is that you can enjoy multiple displays of your devices on your TV screen allowing you to multitask and switch between main displays with a single click on your remote. So what I really like about the HDMI switch is that I'm able to connect all three of my consoles. I'm able to connect my PS4, my Xbox One, and my 360 that's behind me right there. I'm able to connect it and there's no problems whatsoever. What I also really like is that the compact size, I mean, I'm able to basically put it right on top of the Focusrite interface and I'm able to hide it right there in the corner and it's not interfering with any space whatsoever. I'm able to use the controller to switch from the Xbox One to the PS4. As you can see right there, I'm switching to the PS4. It takes some time. I'm able to switch to the 360 as well. And what I really like is that I'm able to focus onto the LED lights and it lets me know which one I'm connected to if there's anything in the background. Basically, the red, in, the red light indicator is letting me know that the console is on but it's not displaying it and if there's no lights then that means that it is not on whatsoever and that there's um or if there's an issue with the hdmi like if the console is on but the hdmi switch isn't picking it up or anything like that i'm able to switch constantly to whatever type i want and if the remote runs out of battery i'm able to just switch it with the button over here as well and it does a nice little clicking which i really enjoy and the compact size is amazing to be honest, like it, I'm able to hide it right there in the corner and not take any space whatsoever. And what I really like about this is that now I don't have to constantly switch HDMI whenever I want to record something with my Elgato HD60 because before I would have my Xbox One connected to the capture card and then I would have to switch the HDMI and connect the PS4 to the capture card. Now what I could do is I could connect all of them to the HDMI switch and then connect the HDMI output into the Elgato HD60 capture card and then connect that to my monitor and there's no input delay, there's no any type of delay. I tested it out in the recording and in real time there's nothing. So I'm really happy about that. I was very skeptical about that, having an HDMI switch connect to a capture card, connect to a monitor. So I'll have my console connect to the HDMI switch and the HDMI switch connect to the capture card and then the capture card connected to my monitor. I would think that there will be any type of delay, any input delay, anything like that, but there isn't whatsoever and I'm really happy about that. 
So there you guys have it. Hope you guys enjoyed the unboxing video of the Zeta Guard HDMI switch. What I also really like is that it's future proofing my basically my setup if I want to get something that compatible with 4k this is compatible with 4k if i want to get the X xbox one slim it's compatible with 4k and that's so is the hdmi so it will be down in the description below on the amazon it goes for around 32 bucks which i definitely recommend if you have more than one console if you, if you have a ps4 with a ps3 with an xbox one or you have any type of console or you have like a dvd player or whatever type it is and you hate constantly going to the back of your tv or your monitor and switching the hdmi just get an HDMI switch, get this one. I definitely recommend it. It will save you time and it's a really good investment. So there you guys have it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, and Twitch. As always, this is Take Your Cheat. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.